Hey, what's up everybody? Andy here with Nostalgic About Baseball. Got a little mail day action, so let's just go through it together. I got three things. I've opened the packages so that, uh, you know, I'm not fumbling around here. All right, so the first thing is, and these all have prices on the back, so you'll see what I paid for them and, and tell me if I did all right. Uh, so Don Leppert. 275. Reason I got these uh, 1962 tops is because I'm uh, maybe getting a little too ambitious, but I'm I'm gonna try to build this set. So um, kind of piecemealing them here. Uh, Mini Minoso, Ty Klein, rookie. Dick Schofield, and early win. So I paid $5.75 for early win, which is in pretty good shape. I've seen cards that were more off center. I've also seen better centering. Uh, the corners aren't too bad at all. Um, <clears throat> so I'm like really pleased with this. Uh, and then the other prices were, let's see, $275, $425 for mini, $275 Ty Klein, $475 uh, Dick. Schofield or Schofield, anyway. Um, so that's that. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, next package here. Let's see. So some loose cards. A couple of uh, 19... <laughs> excuse me, six, uh, 59 tops. Um, just random cards that were super cheap. These were... Uh, nobody had bid on these things and this person had free shipping so these were like literally 20 cents a piece and why not get them because there was a few other things I wanted to get from this seller um, a Kirby Puckett Diamond King a Tony Gwynn Diamond King these are Diamond King cards I collect and I didn't have either of these and they were like uh, $1.50 each I want to say and this random Ichiro card chasing 3,000 hits from 2016. So there's that. And then the last thing in this little batch was uh, 83 Fleer Pete Rose in a nine. Um, it's pretty cool. I like early 80s Fleer and I like Pete Rose. I don't remember what I paid for this. So I can't tell you. But still, uh, an awesome card. It's first. Um, slabbed Pete Rose card that I own right here. Uh, okay, and lastly <clears throat> is a lot of cards from the 50s through 70s, and it was described as having a ton of Hall of Famers, rookies, stars, um, error cards, just, I don't know, cool stuff. I'm not going to go through them. These are in little packages that I've not opened up yet, but we can see who's on the front and back. Um, Al, I don't know <clears throat> who that is. Al Clark, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, no, Dark. Uh, excuse me, Al, Al Dark. And on the back is Ernie Broglio. So <clears throat> this whole lot, these stickers are not correct. This whole lot cost me 20. Um, <clears throat> it was like a little mystery batch type of a deal. So there's my, my man, Mr. Blue. He's a great pitcher, not a Hall of Famer, but had an awesome career. And on the back is Lindy McDaniel. So the reason I got this is because I just I just want to get more vintage cards in my collection, and it's also fun to do mystery boxes. You know, I'm not going to spend too much on a mystery box, but 20 bucks I will do occasionally. Uh, this one has William Schmidt on the front and a checklist on the back, which is a bit disappointing, but um, still pretty cool. I can't wait to open these things up. I'll I'll open all these together in a video. And I may film that now because I'm kind of eager to see what it is. Anyway, but that was my mail day for today. Some cool stuff, some vintage stuff. And uh, 
I hope you all enjoyed. Have a wonderful rest of your day.